Look at that! Two minutes early. Good thing I hurried you, or you would have been late. That's not true. I always get my passengers to the station on time. <laughs> you must be slowing down, though, Thomas. Lately, I seem to beat you to the level crossing every time. I'm not slowing down. I'll show you. Let's race again. Thomas and Bertie think racing is great fun. But there's no shortcut on your branch line, Thomas. If you go another way, you could miss a station or make your passengers late. But Thomas was determined. If Bertie can be rerouted, so can I. Finally, Thomas spotted an old track that led into the woods. This must be a shortcut. There is no shortcut, Thomas. Thomas, please! Where are we going? Don't worry. This shortcut is going somewhere. We'll be out of the woods soon and then... Thomas had hit a rotten buffer in the undergrowth and his wheels had come right off the track. Oh, no! I can't back up. I'm stuck. <gasps> Hello, Thomas. What are you doing in there? <sighs> I was trying to find a shortcut, Bertie, but I've come off the rails. And now my passengers will be late. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> but maybe I can take your passengers for you. Thomas's passengers thought that was a very good idea indeed. It was almost dark when Harvey came to shunt Annie and Clarabel out of the way before lifting Thomas back onto the rails again. Sir Topham Hat was very cross. Your passengers don't like to be late, Thomas. You have caused confusion and delay. I'm very sorry, sir. I was hoping to find a shortcut, but I will stick to my branch line from now on. But he and Bertie still like to have races. And sometimes... Thomas even wins. <laughs> <laughs>